What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pain because everybody shall no pain, and I am here with the Q and A. I got a total of twelve questions. Hopefully, I mean, I hope I wish I had got more, but let's get into it. First question asked by Anis. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, well, I feel like I am. Um, <laughs> um, you let me know, I guess, how your name is meant to be pronounced. I guess in terms of, I think it's like Anis, Anis. But either way, uh, his question is: You do two to three videos a day. How much time it takes you to finish? Okay, I usually record my videos in the morning. Uh, get up around. 10 o'clock, and I usually start recording before his 11 o'clock. And, you know, each video takes about, well, uh, gameplay, about, you know, determining what I'm doing. If it's more than 20 minutes, 18 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, when I render, it doesn't take that long. It takes maybe about 30 minutes to render each video. And I kind I try to upload them at different times where, you know, gameplay goes up early. Elite matches can only go up after 1 o'clock for me, for my time. So by the time I'm done with everything, I'll say it take about an hour for all for I guess for those two videos to be done. If I'm doing anything else, it'll take a lot longer. Just you know, in terms of recording and rendering and stuff like that. So I would say about an hour to maybe two. I'd say an hour to an hour and a half, based on if I'm doing any more than just two videos. Next question X by Haruzen. Uh, what do you do as a living and how old are you? I'm 22, going to be 23 in August, and currently I'm working at the, um, at our mall as a sales associate. The store I work at is, um, it's called FYE. Been working there since November the 11th of last year. Next question asked by Weeaboo. What's your opinion on outdated event ninjas? Now, my thing with them is, if, okay, let's say someone who is VIP 0 decided to top up and jump up to be VIP 6. Now, when someone does that and have, like, let's say 4,000 gold just sitting there, if they wanted help, they'll, you know, someone will tell them, okay, as an advice, I wouldn't get outdated ninjas. Some of them are still good, but some of them are not. So my opinions on them is more like I wouldn't waste my time, you know. If if yeah, if you decide to top up today, and now you're VIP four and you was VIP zero or whatever, and you have like four thousand, six thousand gold sitting right there, do not waste it on any old ninjas. I know like because you know they're in Ninja Treasure and Black Market, mainly mainly Ninja Treasure, and you can use coupons for them. But even then, I wouldn't waste my coupons for them, and I will save them. For other things like jades and stuff like that, and focus in like basically take that goal and save it until you at least have 40k. So then you wouldn't get any old old ninjas. You'll get at least somewhat up to date. So I guess overall for me it's like I don't I would not bother I would not bother getting them waste the gold most of them especially like you know it's like like if you get Obito out of pop Obito then. He gets replaced by Tonery because they both do the same thing, but Tonery does it better and stuff like that. Next question asked by Bob Slang. I never was asked this question before, but this is the first time I was asked this question. Um, well, actually, his first part of his question was, um, "Do you have plans for another channel?" Then that second question he asked was, "Also, how come you did you don't join Savage Gamers?" So I asked the first question. He um he, even though that. The Savage Gamers questions before that one, I'm going to answer the the plans one first. Do you have plans for another channel? I know you guys do know that I, I mentioned that I do have another channel. My own Sparky CJ channel, which if you go, if you click on my name and go to my channel list and look to the right, my channel is like right there. But I also have created a third channel, which centers around unboxings. That has nothing to do with Naruto. Well, yeah, it has nothing to do with any Naruto related content or Pokemon related content because my Pokemon channel, you know, I do Pokemon unboxings on my Sparky channel. 
and Naruto unboxings on this channel. You know, I haven't bought anything that's Naruto related. So that channel is centers around anything and everything. If I'm buying like DVDs, games, consoles, anything that I feel like I want to record. So if you guys want to check that channel out, I will leave the link to it in the comments. I'm, I'm leaving the comments rather than the description. So that makes it a little, I guess it's a little, way easier to actually get to. Um, before, I guess before you guys go and check out that channel, I want to say this. Is with that channel is I want to have people that, that subscribe that like or that are interested in seeing me unbox certain things. I know it's one to support your channel just to get me up there and subscribers, but I want to try to build that channel like this one in terms of not saying content, but in terms of um because you know this will be the only time I, I basically promote because I basically wasn't going to say anything about it. Until you ask that question, so it's like I don't want to keep it a lie. I do have that channel, and that's and I guess subscribe only if you want to see me. Do you want to see me buy? You know, unbox certain things. Cause I already got like ten videos. I think eleven. I already have eleven videos already up on that channel. And his other question is, how come you don't join Savage Gamers? Now I know you guys. I know um, a lot of you um, older subscribers do know that. I want to say my no. I, I guess my channel wasn't made. I get how, how can I say this? Um, the way the, the way how Savage Gamers Savage Gamers channel thanks Savage Gamers channel was was before it was like it was humble Demi by himself uploading videos, and then it was um I forgot I heard, um Brian it was Brian Carlos and um I forgot um. Oh, dude's name, but basically it was like that, where it was only one person running Savage Gamers, and then they joined forces and became one. You know, all on the same channel. So Carlos, he loved, and the whole thing about me, do I guess why I don't join him is why. You know, it's a like, good question. Is why I join him? I'm doing good by myself. Yes, they have now over four thousand subscribers. Congratulations! But I mean, if I join them today. That means no more pain. You know what I'm saying? That means I stop uploading and I'm with them. But that's the thing. It's kind of like I want to, it's like I want to do things on my own. And I do make a little bit of money on my uh, on my channel. So I don't want to be like, oh, let me stop uploading. Join them, upload, and be like, where's my money? Where's the money for my videos? I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I know they got, I know they got like a lot of backlash um, a while back with their channel, and for me, I don't want to be part of that where it's kind of like they're mad at everybody, or not actually, they're not mad at everybody, but you guys get what I'm saying is the backlash that might sense the that might come with a channel, and if you join that, you now a part of that. And for me, it's kind of like I'd rather do things on my do things on my own and grow by myself, even though I said, even though like the video I made was like technically, um, Alec G. AKA Ninja Classic videos join my channel. Not te cause technically he is. But only, you know, whenever he sends he hasn't sent me um battles or anything left me yet. And whenever he does, I upload it. Other than that, I'm the only one that has access to this channel, password and everything. So I guess overall why not join him is there's no need. Because, you know, I want to grow by myself. You know, they got their four thousand heading even higher, and I'm gonna be up there with them, slow and steady. They grow, they grow way faster than me, but I would accept growing very slow because it, for me personally, allows me to, um, allows me to appreciate every single subscriber that I get. Because you guys know, I talk to every single body. I've been doing that since I made my channel. I talk to every single body. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, hey, and people like you know, I'm just saying, people like their like their channel more than mine's. That's all good, cause I'm gonna be up there, and it's gonna be a nice thing. So um yeah. Next question: Do you have plans for episode 500 of a Unlimited Ninja gameplay? In my opinion, I think it would be cool to see a montage of the first episode and clips of your best fights and times of you getting event ninjas. Although with your job, I see that being very hard since it would take a long time to make. 
job, yes, makes it slightly um, difficult to be able to do certain things. But on top of that is um, kind of like how like how would I person go about? I guess because I think what I have to do is just like I go to episode one and then record it. But it's like recording it with no audio, and I have to like it's like recorded with no audio, but then do post commentary. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not like I'm basically recording a video I have already made with you know the commentary as in the video, rather than keep the video. Keep, you know, it's it's all it's a lot of work to try to create my own montage of old things because I I have to like go to each video and kind of watch it and then pick pieces. Where I kind of like, oh, let me grab this part when I pick them up. Because that's like what? Three Ninjas, Tonari, uh, Rochimaru, and Nagato. Um, best fights. That, that, that is a little bit tough as well because I have to kind of go through all the elite matches and kind of pinpoint things. But I'm other than that, it's, it's something that as like, I guess not as, not as like a episode 500. But it would have been something like more of a subscriber special to be like, you know, oh, I created this and I hope you guys enjoy it type of thing. I wouldn't do it for 500. But gameplay, you know, Unlimited Ninja gameplay 500. But I would do it for a subscriber special. Uh, next question. Hi, Pain. What's your opinion about the new meta of PvP game? Do you think that the speed is still the most important thing or is or it has or is it? Uh, or it has been surpassed by attack reduction. There's only two ninjas that reduce your attack while in the formation. Kagua and uh, Nari Nata when they're released. And with the whole speed, I think I think what it is is like, you know, the game always senses around speed, speed, and speed. And then they release Hamura. And a few other ninjas that have, and a few other ninjas that have bulkiness with them, so your team is basically um being you know is increasing your survivability rather than focusing on trying to outspeed your opponent because you guys do know that there's more than one way to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? It's more it's more than one way to get to your goal where one person might go to the left and I go to the right, but we still get to the same destination. So. The, I guess you could say the, the meta of the, how the game is, is it was changing to be, you know, have a more bulkier team, but then, you know, they still, you know, it kind of still went back to where, you know, um, where, you know, it's focused on more about speed. Because the support, the support ninjas will have the speed increase. While the assaulters might have speed decrease in attack reduction, maybe, and Vanguard's being very bulky. So to answer the question, what do I think about the speed? Is do I think speed is still most important? I think most battles is still speed, but you can find you can find a way to still win. I mean you got certain crowd controls that might get you the victory, extra rounds. Attack reduction, it, yeah, it's only two ninjas that does that. So I think Change the question, or is it all you could say, or or has it been surpassed by bulky teams? I want to say the meta would turn into that where your team becomes more bulkier and you're still slower than your opponent. That's why I want to say what, what might happen. If not, they're probably gonna, you know, they kind of bounce. I think they're gonna bounce back and forth between giving you fast ninjas that give speed to everybody and ninjas that have more HP. Cause Saratobi is speed and HP. So that's good right there. Okay, next question. Mr. Apo. If you could have one of Payne's powers, what would what would it be? You can only pick one. I have to roll with Almighty Push. Yes, it's a five second interval to where if I use it the first time I have to wait five seconds. But I feel like if I'm surrounded by a bunch of people and everybody and about to run at me and attack me, I want to hit them with the Almighty Push and just be done with it. Bam. Next question by Danny Barabo, by Barabas. Barabas. Do you like the new style of ninjas? I mean, Naruto Hinata slash Sasuke and Itachi. For me, you guys know I really don't too much. I guess complain that oh, 
they're rehashing new ninjas and not but you know, no, they're rehashing old ninjas and not trying to release brand new ninjas like ninjas that we never had before. I have no problem with it because it allows the game to keep going. Uh, when I first saw Naruto, when I first saw them like that, I was like, wow, that was pretty. It was pretty cool. It was pretty interesting to see them pit two ninjas together because you think that you would think that they that um that's impossible. Like you'd be like, why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know what? Let's put these two together and bam, new ninja. You know what I'm saying? And it makes you think how you kind of make you think how old are the Chinese developers? Because, but again, it doesn't matter. The reason why I say that is because they might forget about certain ninjas and be like, oh, no, you can't. Just go to the Naruto wiki and straight down the page, you have all those ninjas, Jinchurikis. So you got so many ninjas that, that they can create, but they choose to roll with two ninjas, two and one. I really have no problem with it. I just, I actually personally do wish if they, you know, implement ninjas that we've never seen before, just so a lot of players are happy. So you won't see that, you know, not so many people will complain about, oh, snap, they have this, this, and this. You know, well, you know, they, they they release this guy, I like it, versus, oh, they release these two? Come on, why do they keep doing it? Because they're going to do, they're probably going to keep doing it for a while. And then, I don't know what else. Next question ad X by Mod D Z Moid. If you fight Alec G, who will win? Alec G, as you guys again, aka Ninja Clouds video, he's his character or well, his team is faster than me. Faster than my time. Um, well, his shin. I know it's faster than my tonery. And overall I would lose. But I would like to see how close I would come to fight him, but I think I would most likely lose against him. And last question asks about X by Sky21. Are you, and I guess add in the and, are you an otaku? Otaku. I mean, if you love animes. I like anime. But I'm not a hardcore anime fan. So do I consider myself as an otaku? I would say um, I'm more of a 20% otaku. Because I, I, you know, I like my Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and Yasha, so many different type of animes. I like those, but I'm not like super hardcore where I get into like almost any type of anime, cosplay that type. So I don't do that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um Q and A. I hope to do more in the future, and I hope I do get way more questions, a lot more. I mean, a lot more questions. Um, like. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Deuces.